Welcome to this edition of Video Drum by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you guys a little bit on drone safety and, and understanding a bit where you should fly, where you shouldn't fly, how you can find these things out, the easiest way to do it. Because one of the things when I first got into drones, thanks to my buddy uh, online, RJ Make, uh, Robert over there, um, I sort of just went out and got a drone and started flying it. But then I noticed, you know, he went and got his 107 certification. Then I got looking and saying, hey, there's probably a little bit more to this and I really Really need to take a look at this uh, however there wasn't a lot of good good information out there what I would say regarding um you know, really kind of like drone safety and, and flying rules and things like that. There was a bunch of stuff geared at 107, etc. And I, I took a look and studied a lot of that material. Uh, but, you know, for just a casual recreational flyer, there's a couple real important tools and a couple things that you need to know. And I'm going to share some of that with you guys today. So one of them is an application I've come across by the name of Hover. Now, one of the first things um, you do is when you go register, the FAA tells you to, to download Before You Fly, the Before You Fly app. That app I, I really left me lacking and really confused. However, I came across this other app, and I've been using it for a while now, by the name of Hover. And we'll basically jump into the tablet and take a look at it. And so it's a free app. It says there's in-app purchases. Now it comes for both uh, iOS and Android. And I'm using it on an Android tablet here, but I also have it for my iPhone. I've got it on all my mobile devices, uh, by the way. And it's really a great device because it shares a lot of information unlike Before You Fly. So I'm going to show you guys a couple different things. So now this has my general location on the screen now and that you're looking at with this... Um, uh, dot. But one of the things I want to kind of also share is if we look, if we zoom out, or sorry, zo yeah, zoom out, I've got this right, is one of the things you'll notice that uh, it does is there is an airport near me. Uh, and if I touch the airport circle, one of the things that I really like about this is it says recreational rules, Chris Hatfield, that's, this is the airport, and it has their phone number. Um, so again, if I need to, I can contact the airfield. Now this is really important with a lot of the smaller private fields. Because if I, one of the pieces is if I scroll up here, um, you'll notice as I get to a little bit on the northern shore of Michigan, uh, of uh, of the state of Michigan, Lake Huron. If I touch this uh, and I look at this, so airports. This is Fluke Plaza. So this is a private airport. There is a bunch. If I zoom uh, zoom out again, you'll see there's a bunch of private airports up in. Um, Michigan. Basically, most major farms have some sort of airport. So if you look at this, there's technically no place you can fly because it's all covered by these darn circles. But the important thing is recreational rules. So recreational rules do allow you to fly, especially with notification. Now, I'm not going to get into all those rules, but what's important is, number one, Hover shares that recreational rules apply in the space, and it also gives you the phone number to the uh, registered airfield. And I think this is really great, and I've used this quite a bit to notify um, you know these airfields of my operation in the area and so uh, again I think this is really a super piece that I, I'm really happy that you don't get out of uh, a lot of the other ones that I've seen before now the other thing that you get is uh, you know here's an example uh, this is an example uh, in Canada and uh, you notice this is a restricted airspace and so I want to show a little bit more so I'm gonna to have to scroll down because what why I decided to do this is something came to my attention the other day and I wish I would have captured it while it was still on the screen but there's another one that's happening because what happens is uh, right here we go so you'll see the gray circle over Detroit now if I tap that uh, what that will come up with is it's this is a temporary this this is a NOTAM so NOTAM is notice to airmen and so this is um, 
uh, actually very interesting because if you notice, uh, I actually want to scroll this up so you can see this. There's a number of NOTAMs. So there's a NOTAM for an air show uh, a, and also several baseball games. So one of the things that's always important to check, you know, because you can fly in a given location, and this is actually what happened to me. I, I, I was flying in a given location, and let me just kind of scroll back here. Whoops, it keeps wanting to show the Tiger game. But if I go back here... Um, if I, let me zoom this in, it takes a little bit, obviously, in a tablet. So, so there's, uh, uh, where, where you see this, this dot, I'm not going to zoom in too far, but we see that dot, I fly a lot. And then, so I was going to go there and fly the other day, and, and I pulled up Hover, and Hover told me I couldn't fly there. And I'm like, what the heck? And I got looking, and there was actually a NOTAM registered because one of the things, if I scroll in here a little bit more, you'll see this, this orange line going across the water. This is, this is the, the Blue Water Bridges. There's two bridges here, and it's an international border crossing. And they had a security no-fly uh, with about a two-mile radius placed over top of that bridge from, I think it was the... Um, the 16th to the 23rd of June and that really kind of caught me off guard and it basically it was just complete no fly it was complete security zone so I found that very interesting and, and I respected that no fly and didn't fly there uh, but however if I didn't have hover it wouldn't have told me now this is one of the things that I like about this is it has also the no tams on there so when certain things come up like the baseball game around Detroit or various different areas because there was also another no tam it's now uh, gone off of another facility down here now I don't want to get into it too much but a lot of times I've been noticing no tams get issued for various um, security reasons so if there's like a change in in security there are also power plants down around in in these areas where i'm touching the screen we're probably seeing a dot pop up and i've noticed that that no tams pop up over them uh, as being no fly zones and so uh so again i think hover has done, done a fantastic job now there's other pieces with hover and i'm just focusing on uh what it does from a flight safety standpoint so so I can go out to a field, instantly my GPS will pull up my location, and I can see if I can fly. Now, another piece I want to show you guys is I want to move this over here. And so there's a, there is a regional airport uh, in the county, which I live here in Michigan. And uh, if I scroll up and scroll down, so you can see the airport down here at the center. And so it says restricted restricted use airspace flight not recommended by the uh, FAA and um, because there's actually a small per private airport in this area as well as the St. Clair County International Airport which I find interesting but I think it's only because of our proximity to Canada uh, but what gets even more interesting is because you can see there's a couple overlaid circles for the Johnson Airport versus um, the St. Clair County. But now watch as I tap this. So when I get near the ring, outer ring, it knows flight per permissible, or is it, yeah, permissible by the FAA below 100 feet. So I know I can go there and I can fly so long as it's, you know, below 100 feet. I can legally fly in this area. And then one of the things is I get closer in, say I go, I go into the, the closer in, it says not recommended. So the closer I get, so this really helps me understand uh, where it's okay for me to fly and where it isn't okay for me to fly. So again, this is really a great app. And again, you can, you know, hit this outer ring. Um, St. Clair recreational rules apply. So this is what's really cool. And I'd also suggest familiarizing yourself with recreational rules. I'm not going to do that. You can Google it uh, and get that. I'm just really showing how to use the application. Now, uh, one of the things that uh, we want to make sure is... Um, oh, geez. So a couple of the other things. You can log your flight. You can check your weather. Uh, you can get news feeds, and you can also set up where you get news feeds from. But I want to go back here, and uh, 
do this for a second so uh, I'm not sure exactly in here but what you can do is also um, I thought it was under here you could set up uh, set up refresh no tams but uh, anyways so this is really handy application now one of the things I, I want to do is is go back a, a little bit and talk a little bit about no tams and show you how you can find out more information because a lot of times like for example when I ran into that no tam um, for uh, uh, the bridge down here I'm like what the heck is that because it gives you a number now one of the things that uh, you can do is actually go into and what I've done is I've got the links to these uh, here on my website uh, video-drone.diy3dtech.com so you can go there get the links uh, and and go to these sites but you can go to uh, actually a map overlay because the NOTAM system is typically a verbose system in other words it just gives you some cryptic information but at this site where it's uh, you know uh, tfr.fa.gov uh, and this whole other string of stuff you see here on the screen uh, you can go and select state and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down to the M's and I'm going to select Michigan and because there's not a select center for Michigan I'm going to click click go or just tap go on the screen here and then I'm going to scroll this up. Now, one of the things you do is you actually click on the target area. There's kind of a little bit of confusion with the uh, uh, zoom in. So you just you keep touching the target or clicking with your mouse if you're... Um, so again, I want to bring this up. And the nice thing is it does a VFR overlay map. So now one of the pieces I, I want is uh, let's go down to... Um, back down to this one in Detroit. So here's the one in Detroit. So we can, uh, I need to scroll up the tablet so you can see down here below. Um, you can see the, the NOTAMs down here. And then you can see on the map. So I've now moved the map. I have to go uh, back over. It takes a little bit to move the map on here. Um, uh, let me see. I need to zoom back out again to see where the heck I'm at. I think I'm over in Canada now. Because uh, it's showing me Chatham. Uh, this works better on a bigger screen, too. Alright, so we're getting back over to uh, Detroit. So, there again, you see this red area. This is the NOTAM for that we saw on this 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 red, red area here. That's the NOTAM right here that we saw on the other one. Now we can also go down here and so you can see a little bit more and if you click on these you can get more information but you can see here this was in, issued out of the, the Cleveland Center and uh, we can get more information on it so uh, you can we can see the date it was issued we can see the beginning and end date uh, time so this is issued from June 23rd to the 25th uh, reason for the no TAM high speed aerobatic and aerial demonstrations uh, the Tuskegee uh, Airmen River Days Air Show so uh, again you can drill down here into why why we have that no TAM so this is really handy in helping understand um, you, you know your flying situation and and uh, if things like this do appear why they appear because they have to be disclosed now one of the things uh, I actually uh, and then I'm a bit of a geek uh, I like reading some of these because you get some very interesting ones like when they do laser mapping with lidar uh, you'll get certain no-fly zones and things like that so really interesting stuff that you can find out uh, from here when you just go through and read the the no tamps so anyways um, this is the big piece I have links and everything to hover and uh, these links and everything also in the description below but if you you know don't get these and you can't find the video again you can just go to our website and get the links from there and uh, again hopefully safe flying for you guys so anyways subscribe button is going to be coming up over there if you have some other tips and tricks you'd like to share with the viewers and myself hit us up in the comments I'm always happy to uh, hear about new ideas and things and hey we'll catch you in the next video cheers